Hello, I'm Steve. This is Bit of Munch. And have I got an unusual product to review today? Yes, I have. <laughs> Morrison's Gravy Filled Pork Pies. As soon as I spotted these in Morrison's, I just grabbed them. It didn't say they were new, but they are new. Believe me, I go in Morrison's a lot. I know what's new and what isn't. Gravy filled pork pies. These were £2.50 by the way. They're quite big. They're not, you know, sometimes you get the little tiny little pork pies. They're not that size. They're a decent size. But yeah. And it gets weirder. Believe me, it gets weirder. Because when you read the description, it says, seasoned cured pork encased in a hot water crust pastry with gravy jelly. Gravy jelly? <laughs> well, it says gravy filled pork pies. I thought there'd be like a, a blob of gravy in the middle of the, the meat. It doesn't sound as though it is. Or is it? We'll find out. Right, you have to eat these hot. It says on there, eat me hot. You can't eat them cold. You don't like ordinary pork pies, you can just grab them and eat them cold. Some people like eat them hot, but yeah. And it takes, these take nine minutes in the oven, it says. Well, I'm not, do, not doing them in the oven. I'll do them in the air fryer. Uh, I reckon they're probably about five, six minutes in the air fryer, something like that, and they should be done. I'll stick two of them in there in a minute. 26% um, pork. And yeah, pork gelatine. Now, I'm not averse to jelly in a pork pie. You hardly ever get it these days, which is a shame, really, because jelly in a pork pie can really enhance the flavour. I don't know if you've ever, you've ever had it, but if you have a really good quality pork pie with a good, you know, decent um, quality jelly in it, it really enhances it. It's lovely. So... Will these be lovely? Will they be disgusting? <laughs> we'll find out very soon. Right, before I stick them in the air fryer, I've taken a couple of them out of the packet. I've given them a good old sniff. <laughs> and they don't smell of gravy whatsoever. They just smell like an ordinary pork pie. So, I'm really intrigued by these. I really am. Right, here we go. They're done now. But, the recommended instructions for cooking must be wrong. They must be. Because this says, nine minutes in the oven at fan 160, right? So, as I said to you, I thought, well, six minutes at the most in the air fryer should be enough and my air fryer I'd leave it set at 200 so I thought six minutes would be plenty oh no six minutes I checked them and the pastry was still really really soft I mean still not incredibly crispy now but it was it was very very soft I thought no they're not done so I gave them another three minutes that's nine minutes cut them in half felt the meat in the middle and it was still not completely warm. So then another three minutes. So these have actually had 12 minutes. And now they're warmed through. So, yeah, those instructions are way off, in my opinion. Right, anyway, rant over. <laughs> Let's see what they taste like. You can't, again, you can't really smell the gravy. Right, you might notice a bit of a jump in the edit there. <laughs> because uh, I sneezed violently a couple of times. So I've had to, well hopefully I've edited that out. Right, anyway, here we go with the gravy pork pies.
Where's the gravy? Where is the gravy flavour? I can't taste it at all. That is so weird. Let's try the other one. And looking at it, this end has got a sort of dark brown bit in it. That's why I chose that end on the other one. But anyway, let's give this one a try. See if this is any better. There is a very, very small hint of gravy there. Almost non-existent. No. <clears throat> oh, what a letdown. What a letdown. They promised so much and delivered so little. Morrison's gravy filled pork pies. Don't recommend them whatsoever. They don't do what it says on the pack and the cooking instructions are way off. Rubbish. There you go. Thanks for watching. Uh, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope I managed to edit out my sneeze okay. If not, you'll see it. <laughs> Might give you a laugh. Right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video, which hopefully will be something better than these. Well, no, I won't say they're horrible, because they're not horrible. Well, I've said it all, haven't I? Okay, see you in the next video. I'm going to eat them, though. <laughs>